So um, I'm currently the managing partner of Atmosphere Investments. Um, we are a private equity and venture capital group that invests exclusively into sustainable and impact projects. So since 2002, we've really had um, a focus on enabling what is the kind of green revolution. Um, our vision is that we currently are facing a number of challenges which today have become very obvious. Um, we shouldn't be consuming foods that are full of pesticides that are making us ill. We shouldn't be drinking water that's full of microplastics. Um, we shouldn't be traveling in a way that's unsustainable and producing gases that are toxic to um, our living conditions and making us ill. So these challenges need to be addressed and we believe that it's a combination of technology and finance that's going to make this happen. Um, it has to be profitable if it's going to be scalable. And uh, over the past 20 years, we've really focused on two sectors. One is an infrastructure division where we invest into solar, wind, uh, biomass projects, recycling plants um, globally. And the other, we back early stage startup companies that have technology we believe will be disruptive and will replace existing systems that are inefficient or ineffective. And how has um, uh, your business improved, changed, scaled uh, throughout COVID? So I think uh, COVID was a disruptive force and some people have benefited from that and others have not. So um, we were fortunate that we were in um, sectors that were favorable to, um, to, to COVID and we weren't particularly impacted. During that time, we did manage to expand and um, we continued to invest into companies that we believe have disruptive tech. Um, in particular, we're building a fiber optic network in the UK. So something that's happened because of COVID is that um, people are now working from home, they're traveling less, and they're looking to be able to do their work online. So video conferencing has exploded. Companies like Zoom have seen their share prices go up hugely. Microsoft has been a huge beneficiary. Um, Obviously, to enable home working, you have to also have the infrastructure. So if you have a home where you are getting 20 meg download speeds, it's just not going to work. You're going to have your kids online uh, at school. You're going to want to be working and your partner's probably going to be working at the same time. And in the evenings, you're going to be watching 4K, 8K TV and also playing video games. All of that means that you have to enable that to happen through updating um, what effectively are the nerves of the city, which are these internet cables, the optical fibers. So that's one example. Um, we continue to install solar throughout Europe in particular. So we do clean tech rooftops um, for normally for companies. And when possible, we also do ground mount sites where you can put them in fields and you can co-locate them with um, certain livestock, for example. That's, that's a, good, a good model we've come across. Um, and on the clean tech side, we are actively working on a better use of water resources. So we've seen over the past few years, there have been a number of forest fires, there have been um, droughts in many regions of the world, which means that we have to start thinking about um, how we're going to use the water that we do have and make sure that we don't waste it. So Dubai is a great example of this. Um, obviously, they have constrained resources in terms of water, so any technology that could reduce our consumption or allow us to reuse water that's already been used is, uh, is something that we're actively looking into. And you're spending the next couple of days with the investors, angel investors and family offices from all over the world. What kind of key message would you like to share with them in terms of investment opportunities or how you're investing? Sure, I think something that's become really clear to me is um, the importance of partnerships. Um, I think coming to events like this one, um, meeting other investors, other entrepreneurs and working together, um, technology is great and we are strong believers that a lot of things can be done remotely and on conference calls, but also that being there in person does make a difference. Um, I think travel will go down, but to be able to build that relationship, you do need to spend time. It's an investment that you will get returns on, and we've seen that with our partners. So um, when I meet people at this conference and, and other conferences in, in the region, I always say, look, um, we're not looking to do anything today, but we are looking to build a relationship over years. And uh, we hope that in 10 years' time, uh, we've done 10 deals together and being able to introduce each other to, to partners that are mutually beneficial. And the way you invest, um, what kind of uh, sort of suggestions and messages will you be sharing with other investors on maybe 
how they should potentially mm -hmm. invest. So I think it, it is time for the finance industry, and you can see big organization, big banks waking up to this, that where we invest our money makes a difference. So even if you're passively saying, I don't want my portfolio to sit in oil and gas or um, mass-produced meat products or whatever the theme is that you don't believe in, you should phone them up and you should say, look, I, I would like my resources to be put towards something that I believe in. And everybody has a different opinion, but there are definitely common themes that we can all agree matter, whether it's the environment, um, quality of life for people. Um, typically, people talked about ESG. ESG products are really um, exploding at the moment. And I think that if you're an investor, you have a responsibility to put your time, effort, and energy into creating impact that makes a difference, and not just making money. Bear with me, we just seeing there was something else. Mm, yeah. What makes a Sir Anthony's conference that more, more exclusive than, than maybe other conferences? Oh, the organization. Vanessa, you, for sure. <laughs> no, I, I think, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a dynamic environment. I've met some, some great, um, I've made friends here. Um, I've enjoyed spending time. I've also learned a lot from the panelists that we, that we will be listening to over the next few days. Um, I think that the, the locations are really well chosen because they're great business hubs. And I think the UAE has been a, a fantastic place for, for this conference to, to kind of grow. Um, every time I come back, I see more people and I can see that it's a, a, successful, a successful venture for, for yourself and for Anthony. Um, and, and I think that um, it's not difficult to be honest here. Um, everybody's here to do good and to help each other and people are open to new ideas so I've really appreciated that aspect of the conference. Mm -hmm.